My name is Sandra and this is Art for All Tutorials. Today we're working outside because the weather's lovely. And when the students come to, to art club, we give them the opportunities to paint outside as well. Today's tutorial, um, I'm going to demonstrate to you some, some different techniques that you could possibly try at home. We're going to be using a balloon, some rollers, and some card for chopping. Chopping and rollers possibly seen before on some other videos on our YouTube channel. So have a look as well. Um, so with the balloon, some find it hard to hold the balloon. <laughs> so I add and I use tape to make it easier, like this. Also made two smaller ones. Now these are this, and they untwist. Now before in there, crayons used to be inside. I took them out and I use them because they're really good grippers. Right, there we go. First of all, we're going to paint all the this a lovely turquoise blue with some white paint mixed in. So we've got these here. And again, I'm using acrylic paints. And you can use this, it's not a problem, but I like rollers because they're quick and they're good for big spaces. So I've got my colour here. Let me just get that. Okay. And you, you want the paint all the way around and then you roll. Doesn't matter, up and down, side to side, doesn't matter. Now, no more white card, gone. Next, we're going to try some flicking. So I've got some colours that are bright in here. These ones are orange, light and dark. We've got some yellow and a little bit of black. We also need some water just pop some in there. Take our brush. I'm going to start with some yellow. Now I'm going to put it in the water like this. Hopefully when we flick it, it should work. Already? One. Do some more. Okay. Now we're going to add some chopping. 
for the grass. Uh, so, colours, light and dark and white, green. Sorry, light and dark green with white in a line. And then you cut out some cardboard like this. And you fold it, chop in, and then you pop it in the green, like so. So you're going to chop. Lovely. Some long ones. down here so I'm going to change for a smaller one and you fold that in half and you'll going to go back to flicking. So I'm going to add some more, just a little bit more yellow. So going on the water. Lovely. In the water. bit around here right now I'm going to change color just gonna wipe wipe it off use the same brush I'm gonna go for some oranges in the water Tapping it in the water, a little bit wet, helps to flick it. Um, some more orange, more water. So we're going to get some lighter orange. Some lighter orange in the water. Okay. Um, it's going to go darker orange. Some 
fine. Now we're just going to add a little bit of black. Uh, I'm going to wipe that off. Our black in the water. that you could just leave that I think I'm going to try and just cover some of that black up there could really leave it like that but I just want to show you how you can make some flower heads with with the balloon. So we've got some pink, red, and white. Like this. And I've squirted it out circles. Circles like this. Then take your balloon and you press very gently. Press. And then we're going to press onto our meadow. Like so. I'm going to do another big one. And I might go over that black with a big flower. Use the smaller balloons. One more tiny ones, maybe down here a few. Down here, pick up some white on there. There. Oh, oh thank you. I hope you like this today. It was really lovely to get outside and throw some paint around. Um, we've never tried all of these techniques together. This is the first time, but I think it looks great you think it looks great have a try at home possibly outside flicking um, and then show us I would absolutely love to see your work we have a Facebook page we have an Instagram page um, so please share your beautiful paintings with us bye bye